Hey guys, welcome to Wicked Manny. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own liquid latex so you can protect your fingers and your skin while you're doing nail art. Now, if you're like me, I'm sure that you've looked online before to buy your own liquid latex and you cannot fathom why this tiny bottle of liquid latex is like six or seven dollars. So, I'm gonna show you how to make your own, and if you buy the materials that I'm including in this video, you will be able to make your own liquid latex for probably $15 total, and the ingredients will end up lasting you at least a year. So, let's get started. The first thing that you are going to need is liquid latex. So, this is a bottle of liquid latex that I purchased from Amazon. This stuff is amazing, it's fantastic, most people use it for makeup effects, I believe, that sort of thing, but it's the exact same thing that you get in a bottle from all these nail polish companies to use for nail art. I will say the liquid latex in this is the most expensive part. It should be between seven and $10 if you're getting it on Amazon. I have included the link below. Now you're going to take some gel food coloring and you're going to scoop a bunch of it out and then put it inside of the liquid latex and stir it up. You can use a spoon. I'm using a ceramic art tool because that's what I had on my desk and I didn't want to get up. So here we are. Uh, I used quite a bit here. I would not recommend starting with this much, but it was my first time mixing this up. So I used a bit more than I should have. I would start with a tiny bit first and then slowly add more as you want to build up the color. And you'll see that slowly this starts to turn blue. Um, I will say, while the dye shouldn't transfer to your fingers, if you make this too, too brightly colored, it might temporarily dye your fingers. Now, mine did stain my fingers a little bit because I've made it way too intense of a blue, but it immediately went away as soon as I washed my hands, so it wasn't a huge deal for me. Um, like I did that and then I immediately took pictures of nail art on my fingers and you couldn't see any of the blue. So it's not a huge concern, but just so you know, if it does dye your fingers, just wash your hands and it should go away and you'll be fine. I have heard you can also use acrylic paint that will not dye your skin. I have not tried that, so I cannot attest to that experience being better than the gel dye. Now, once we have this mixed up, you are going to get out an empty nail polish bottle. I ordered empty bottles from Amazon because I tried this previously by pouring it into a bottle that had a top coat in it after I'd cleaned it out and dried it and stuff. And for some reason, it curdled the latex. So I don't know if there was still like remnants in there or something. I don't know, just keep that in mind. You may just wanna start with an empty bottle that never had anything else in it. Also these nifty empty bottles I ordered came with a little funnel, which made this process a bit easier. I think probably a syringe or a turkey baster would make this even easier, but I didn't have one of those. So little funnel it is. So you're just gonna slowly, slowly pour this in so that it gets into the bottle. Uh, you might wanna do this on top of a paper towel because you will inevitably get some on whatever surface you are filling this on. And I would say don't go all the way to the top of the bottle, leave a little bit of space because you will have like some displacement when you put the brush in. So just keep that in mind so you don't end up with overflowing latex everywhere. Like I did, cause I'm awesome at this. All right, so now our latex is done and I'm just gonna show you how easily this brush is on. And it goes on just like it would if you bought a bottle of it from the internet for way too much money. Now, if your liquid latex gets too thick, you can add a couple drops of argan oil or baby oil and that will thin it back out and you will be all set again. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this informative and that I can help you save some money. If you like this video, please like it up and comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.